Hello everyone, my name is Tom, and today I have a video on adding I.O. modules using the Studio 5000 Logix Designer software. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and show you the materials for today's project. First, I have an Ellen Bradley Compact Logix controller. Next, I have the Studio 5000 Logix Designer software. And as normal, I share you the link of the items so that you can visit the website and gather materials such as manuals and product information. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and show you the project description. In the project description, what I'm explaining here is, is that in order for your module to communicate with the processor, it needs to be configured in the project. So I will be adding an input and an output module. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit further here into step one. In step one, I will be selecting the I.O. configuration in the controller organizer. Now I'm going to come down here to step two. In step two, I will be adding an input module. I'm going to scroll down here to step three. And I have selected the new module already, and I'm starting to configure it here. So I'm going to have to configure the slot. I'm going to have to give it a name. And I'm going to have to configure the revision number. I'm going to come down here to step 3B. As you can see, I am showing changing some of the information for the configuration here. In step 4, I show that the new module has been added to the configuration organizer. Now that completes adding IO modules to the configuration, but I have a little bonus here. If you were to go to the control tags and open the control tags before you start your project, you will see that there are no control tags configured in that folder. But after you configure the inputs and outputs, you should have the control tag folder look like this. Populated with the tag, populated with the tags from the I.O. cards. Now that's about it for the step-by-step -step procedure. Now we need to go to the hands-on portion of the video. Okay, we're in the hands-on portion of the video. And the first thing that I'd like to show you is that I have my project open. And I have the controller tags folder open here. As you can see, there is no tags here. Now I'm going to come down here to the I.O. configuration. You can see there is no I.O. modules configured here yet. So we're going to work on that. So what I want you to do is come down here to the 1769 bus and right click and add a new module. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to filter this so that there's not as many modules to look at in this section. So I'm gonna click here to deselect all of these and I'm going to select digital. And then I'm gonna come over here and deselect all these manufacturers here and just select Ellen Bradley. Now that leaves me with 22 of 58 modules. That's actually a lot easier to sort through than all the modules. So the first module that I'm going to so the first module that I'm going to enter into my project is going to be this one. It's a 1769 IA16. It's a 120 volt AC input card. 
So I select it by highlighting it and then create. And that brings in the new module window here. So I need to give it a name. So I'm just going to give it something simple. Input. And I'm going to hit the space bar and it's going to add an underscore and one. Now I could give a description to the card if I choose to, but I don't think it's really necessary for this video. Now I need to select exactly where in the rack the input module is going to be. So I'm just going to leave it in slot one. Would select the revision number. As you can see, the series, the revision, whether or not if I want to use electronic key, connection, and data format. These two will leave alone the connection and the integer because there is no options there. But here in electronic key, we can use an exact match so that if we were to replace the card, it has to be an exact duplicate of it, same revision and everything. And we can also use a compatible module, or we could just disable the keying altogether. Now, under revisions here, there is revision one and revision three. I'm going to leave it as revision one, and series A is the only option here. So that looks all good. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK here. And as you can see, that gives me my first module here. Now my next one is going to be an output module. And we're going to follow the same procedure. Digital, Ellen Bradley. So let's look for A 1769 OA16, it's a 16 point AC output card. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to give it a name. And as you can see, it gives us the next slot over. If you look, I'm trying to go up to slot one, it will not allow it. So slot two is the next available option. Now, if we go to change here also, we have the same options here. Revision one or three. And whether if we want to use an exact match, a compatible or disable keying altogether. Got connection, output, integer, those are all Things that you cannot change, so we'll click OK. Looks like we're OK there. And as if you look down here in the I/O configuration, I now have the processor here, and I have an input module and an output module. And if you look in the tree here, I have. The area for all of the inputs and outputs that I have just. So that's the end of this video.